Top Arrive scam contractor, GC Strategies owner Christian Firth had his home raided by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police two days ago as part of the Mounties investigation to his work with the Trudeau government. Christian Firth is well documented um, as part of the more than dozen investigations um, into um, his role with government contracting for fraud, forgery. He has a track record of meeting um, some of the most senior public servants at bars and steakhouses. Minister, do you think that's normal? I was not here at that time as President of the Treasury Board. However, I would expect that rules would be followed at every instance. Because I was not here, I am not certain if the rules were followed, and I will ask my colleague to respond. So, the Minister, it's a question of judgment. The question is, do you think Canadians find it acceptable that millionaire consultants are discussing government contracts with senior officials, many who control these contracts, and are chatting over whiskey and steak about getting paid with taxpayer money. Do you think Canadians find that acceptable? I do not know exactly what occurred, but I don't find it acceptable uh, to violate any rule or principle. There is an importance of letting the RCMP do their work. I am not, as a Minister of the Crown, going to interfere in the investigation of an independent organization. And I think it is important that we let that investigation continue. And then, as the Minister of Public Safety has said, we look forward to following the recommendations of the RCMP. Thank you. Minister, do you know what um, the TBS employees discussed at these outings at steakhouses and bars with the millionaire consultants. Mr. Paul Gerard, Savak, Ashkabashian, Gary Hoban, like these are these are directors, the former chief information officer, senior advisors. Do you know what they discussed? So if you don't mind, I'll take the question, Minister. Uh, it, As Ms. I Cahill, mentioned. The, the question is, is, does the minister know? So unless your answer is if the minister knows or not, I'd like to hear from the minister, please. I do not know. I was not the president of the Treasury Board at the time. Oh, minister, um, I, I, I'm glad that you find it, uh, it funny, but this is a $60 million scandal. We have the RCMP kicking doors in because there is fraud and corruption and, um, and people who work in your department. And so just because they shuffle the deck chairs on the Titanic every couple of months, um, you're still responsible for the department. And so if, you're, if your suggestion is that we need the former president of the Treasury Board to come and tell us what's going on in your department, then uh, I'd appreciate that as a suggestion. But it is incumbent on you, when there's a matter of great public interest like this, to at least show um, an interest and, and concern for what's going on. My question to you, on what date was Mindone hired as the Chief Information Officer? It is not my purview. Mr. Chair, in response to that allegation that I find this funny or that I in some way do not care about this issue, it is not my purview to oversee the day-to-day -day work of employees. Right. No, no one's in charge, Minister, and over there. No one's in I, charge. As the President of the Treasury Board, will continue to ensure that we promulgate guidelines and policies for public servants to follow. Do, it is the responsibility of deputy heads, including the deputy head of the CBSA, to ensure that rules are followed. In terms of the individual uh, that the Honourable colleague just mentioned, I will ask the CIO to respond. The, just the date, please, sir. I believe it was May 2023. I, I can't give you the specific date, but I can get that to you in writing, no problem. Was it a competitive process? Uh, as far as I understand, he came over at level. So it wasn't a competitive process. Who was in charge of, of that decision, that hiring? It would have been my predecessor, Catherine Luello. Catherine Luello. And uh, who was in the position before him? I don't know the answer to that question. Would Paul Girard? No. No, 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 Mr. Girard, if I may, Mr. Chair, was reporting direct me, directly, directly to me. And Mr. Girard was the CIO for the Treasury Board Secretariat as a department. So who, who was in the role before Mendon was hired is the question. Sam, do you know? It was Mark Briard. Mark Briard. Mark Briard. 
It's interesting that we have successive chief information officers who favor GC strategies, one who provides testimonials for the website, and one who is willing to lie before committee to hide his favoritism for GC strategies. The question is, who else at the Treasury Thank Board you. Secretariat are GC strategies fanboys? Thank you, Mr. Barron.